In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use transparency in the EV rendering engine. So I downloaded this free leaf texture from Ambient CG. I'll have a link in the video description to this texture that I downloaded. And so I just added a plane and then I set up all the maps here. So the base color, the roughness and the normal, but I need to add in the transparent map. So I'm going to press shift A and I'm just going to search for an image texture. Let's drop the image texture down here. And then I'll also plug up the mapping and then I can just open up this texture. And here is the opacity opacity texture. So I'm going to click on this and then I'll click on open image. Now for this opacity texture, the color is going to go into the alpha so that it'll tell it to use the transparency. Now you can see that this isn't working properly. It looks all black. So you have to turn on a setting within the material to tell it to use the transparency. So just make sure you have the material selected and over here on the material panel, I'm going to go over to the settings and then right here you can see there is a blend mode. So on default it's set to opaque, but if you want to use the transparency, you need to change it to one of these alpha. I find that alpha hash looks the best, so I like to use alpha hash. Now you can see underneath this texture, I have a ground plane here, and I also have a light here shining down on the plane. And you can see that the shadow transparency isn't working correctly either. So what we need to do is the same thing. So right down here on the settings on this material, you just need to change the shadow mode to alpha hashed again. And now you can see that's actually working. And so the shadow is actually working correctly with the transparency, and that's looking very nice. So I also just modeled this quick window with a window frame. And then right here in the material, I have the transparent BSDF. So I just need to do the same exact thing. So on the settings here, I just need to change the blend mode to alpha hashed. And now you're able to see through that transparency. Now also within this material, within this glass material that I have here, I have a glass BSDF. So I'm just going to plug that up to the surface here to see how that's looking. And you can see that that's kind of looking okay, but you're not actually able to see through the glass. You're just able to see the HDRI that I have in the background. And this is because we need to turn on another set setting to be able to use the transparency with a glass shader. So I'm going to click right over here on the render properties and then in the EV settings on the render properties, I need to turn on the screen space reflections and then open this up. And you also need to turn on this refraction button right here. And now you're actually able to see different objects through that glass. And I also have this principled BSDF shader right here. And to make this look like glass, I turn this transmission value all the way up to one. And then I also turn the roughness value right here down to zero. So I can also just plug that into the material output and you can see that looks pretty good as well. Now there is another thing here. You can see that the glass is making a shadow and that doesn't make sense because the sunlight would be going through the glass. So just go right back over here and make sure you have the glass selected and you could change the shadow mode. You could change it to alpha hashed, but you can see that it doesn't really do anything. So instead for the shadow mode for something like glass like this, I would just change it to none and that way it's going to allow the light to go through the glass because sunlight coming through a window wouldn't cast a shadow because the light is going through it. Now this glass shader in Blender Eevee does look okay, but I actually have a tutorial specifically on how to make a really nice looking realistic glass shader in Blender Eevee. So if you'd like to watch that tutorial on how to make the realistic glass shader in Blender Eevee, I'll have the tutorial right up there on the end screen and also the link in the video description if you'd like to watch that tutorial to make a much more realistic Eevee glass shader. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you for watching.